Hi, I'm Kelly, and I am the founder of my social media management company. I was using Hootsuite, and then I switched to Loomly. For more reviews like this, click the link below. So both Hootsuite and Loomly help solve problems for my business in terms of publishing and scheduling content. We are a social media management company, and we have a wide variety of clients who we post content for consistently throughout each month. And both programs give us the ability to plan out a full month's calendar, schedule the post, and have our clients review the post before they're published. Personally, I felt Loomly was a better use for my company and my clients because I really liked the interface. While the Hootsuite has a lot to offer, Loomly to me was more user friendly. I, at the time when I switched over to Loomly, I really liked the way that the posts were um, showed up how they were going to look when they actually were published on each social media platform. And so that is one of the reasons why I really, really liked Loomly. And then as far as Loomly as well, it is very good and easy to use for my clients. A lot of them like to go in and improve the post and it is a simple program to learn and they click in and click, click, click and approve, approve and we're good to go. I also liked Hootsuite, uh, one, because they had a free version. And when we first started my company, with a small client load, we were able to use the free version and we didn't have the cost and we were still able to post content and create content. Even when we moved into the paid plan, it was still very good in terms of posting and scheduling and being able to preview the content as well. Getting started with both Hootsuite and Loomly, I think was very, very simple. It is, both programs are very user friendly and there are plenty of, you know, tutorials on how to use them to the best of their abilities. When I switched over to Loomly, there was a really um, important onboarding process that I went through with my account manager. But like I said, with both of them, you know, the ease of use getting started right away, uh, there was really no downtime or no huge learning curve to learn both of them. When looking for any social media uh, publishing software, you know, the things that I look for, first of all, is, is price. I mean, it does come down to price when you compare, you know, some of the programs out there. They range on the spectrum from very high to very low. You do get what you pay for. I do feel, though, that there are a lot of good programs in the middle of the road that are affordable. Another thing that I look for is use ease of use for my team members because they are the ones that work in this program every single day. They're the scheduling, the publishers, the um, you know content creators. So I like to make sure that they are comfortable with the program that they're using. And then lastly, client ease of use. We do have a handful of clients that love to go in and see what the posts are going to look like. They love the approval process. And so when choosing a program, Clients, they depend on us to do their social media management, so they don't want to spend a lot of time in a program trying to learn it and figure out, you know, how to do things in it. So, you know, ease of, ease of use for those clients who are in there using it is also a top consideration for us.